Hi, I'm Kerry with Best of Us Investors. Been doing the YouTube channel uh, since November of 2019. Just got active, uh, I guess, within the last two months on Twitter, and I try to post something every day on Twitter. And I've come across a young man, I think he's about 30 years old, Benham Schlagbon. I'll put his name up. He's a CFP, and uh, he proposes some interesting questions. Being 30 years old, his goal is to help young people to get their financial affairs in order. And he proposed a question that I thought was very daring and uh, had a lot of foresight in it. And it was, if you want to make a million dollars this year, how would you go about doing it? And I think at first take, that's a question that most people would say, that's ridiculous. You, you can't make a million dollars just by making a decision you want to do it this year, unless you've got a lot of money uh, that you can invest and invest right and get a big payoff. But I think, I think what uh, Benin is, is saying is you need to think outside the box. And that's what this video is going to be about is, how I would think out of the box and what I've learned in my 77 years as to how you take on a task or set a goal and get it done. Uh, and I think I what I want to reflect on is the year, two-year journey that I've had in my learnings of um, how to use YouTube. I went into YouTube thinking that YouTube was um, the, the end, if, if you could be successful on YouTube, because we've all seen these little kids that are on TV that have multi-million, uh, uh, followers and are making millions of dollars off of YouTube, but we aren't all going to be able to do that. But there is something underneath the, the surface that you need to be aware of. And I think this video might enlighten you as to just how maybe, you could make a million dollars this year if you put your mind to it, if you were willing to put forth the effort and if you're willing to stick with it and if you're willing to learn. Um, and maybe you have to pay to learn, okay? But this video, there'll be no payment. There'll be no financial advice. It'll just be m me sharing my experience as to how maybe you could make a million dollars this year. We'll be right back. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. As I said, uh, I started with this YouTube channel in November of 2019. So I'm in my third year and I would say I'm probably halfway to the million dollar a year period or point. And um, with some things that are happening this year, uh, we could break that million dollar um, goal this year, how to make a million dollars in one year. And as I said, it started with YouTube. Uh, and much to my my amazement, I have learned YouTube is the means to the end. It is not the end in itself. And you don't have to have uh, a million followers. I thought that's what it was. And if you go back to many of my early videos, you'll hear me say, my goal is to get a million viewers. Seth Godin wrote a book that, uh, about marketing, and he makes the statement, all you have to have is a thousand loyal followers, and you can make a good living for the rest of your life. He, he uses the Grateful Dead as an example of that. But let's get exactly to what I'm talking about. I have right now about 157,000 subscribers. I would say out of that 157,000, I have probably 50,000 uh, loyal fans, people who who regularly see my videos, who react to my videos, and, and believe that I have some sense and I have learned something over the last 77 years that is worth sharing. And so that that's my core group. What I've done then is 
is channel my efforts directly to that core group and speak to their needs and 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 build and then also within those fans i have identified a group of people who are willing to help me it's such as you see my videos every day i shoot this video um i will upload it and send it to Jack. Jack lives in the Netherlands. He's, I think, about 11 hours, no, nine hours difference in time. And so he will receive this video uh, probably somewhere around five o'clock in the evening, his time. He'll sit down, he'll make my um, thumbnail, uh, and then he'll edit the video and and upload it onto YouTube. And it'll be up on, on, on YouTube at seven o'clock the following morning. So Jack is, has helped me, and I, I reimburse him. I pay him to do that. He is a subcontractor. And then uh, Drew... Drew is an individual who lives out in Los Angeles, and he came to me and said, let me build a Discord for you. He says, I think you can build a group of people who would like to share more knowledge, who would like to see your um, portfolio and see your trading activities and learn more about your your long-term investing strategy. And in that, we have some uh, a fee of $10 a month that they um, get some insights as to what I do. So that generates some some funds. And we're going to expand upon that because I've recognized that there are some gurus out there who, who peddle their services and their knowledge for some astronomical numbers, $4,000, $5,000 a month uh, or a year, and why not, uh, why don't we, and I say we, myself, uh, just buy their services and then I can hire someone to um, basically go through and slice and dice and, and uh, take out the important parts and then share it with what we call our tribe um, on our Discord, and everybody doesn't have to pay. I'll probably end up laying out about eight grand for this and then paying someone to to uh, organize it and then present it in whatever format. So I'll probably end up somewhere in the neighborhood of an expenditure of fifty to sixty thousand dollars to make this happen. But again, if Rather than each of us doing that, if one of us does it and then shares it, uh, it makes it better for the whole tribe. So that's another element that I've learned over the last two years that I can increase the revenue stream from my YouTube channel. Then you have affiliate marketing, and I think a lot of people think of affiliate marketing uh, as Amazon, and Amazon will pay you anywhere from 1% to 5% of what you what you uh, sell off of their site, and you'll never get rich doing that. But there are other uh, services that will pay you 50% of whatever they generate and give you an ongoing uh, stream. So in other words, if I get somebody to subscribe to Seeking Alpha or uh, uh, stock charts, uh, stock cards, or um, uh, what well, trading views? They'll share their commission on an ongoing basis. So it's it's not a one percent one time commission like Amazon is. It's an ongoing commission. So that generates some money for you. Then over the years, I I'm a creator. I love to write. So I've written uh, four books. I wrote Tall Grass. And, and it's on Amazon. Uh, I wrote uh, Supercharge Your Real Estate sa uh, Using Sales, Cutting Social, Using Cutting Edge Social Media Strategies. Too long of a title, but I've learned from that. Uh, I've written that book. And then the one I'm most proud of is um, Find Happiness, Discovering Who You Are and Why You Are You. And then I have this Christmas book, um, that I, children's book about our Christmas family tradition that I'll uh, put out on Amazon this Christmas season. So that creates, and, and you make somewhere around 75% of the sale price on that. So that's another way to generate funds to 
to get to your million dollar goal. Um, and then I'm now getting into online courses. It's just like, I've just now gone through what I've learned about YouTube. And there's some very deep in, in, intricacies in there that I can share on an online course that could probably help you make a million dollars over the next uh, two to three years. You could get to where you're making a million dollars if you have the right niche. And I've learned how, what that right niche is. So I am in the process of putting together a online course of how to duplicate what I've done in whatever field you might be interested in. And what do I mean by that? Well, there's young girls on YouTube right now who teach young, other young girls how to put on eyeliner and how to put on false eyelashes and how to put on their makeup. And they're making a, a ton of money and they're selling product as well with it. I love the idea of there's people on YouTube. Uh, there's a lady on YouTube who teaches other ladies how to use power tools. Well, do you think maybe she has an affiliate marketing uh, ar arrangement with some power tool companies? Of course she does. So she makes that money that way. Do you think maybe she might write a book where she actually illustrates some of the things? Of course she does. So what my point is, going back to um, Benin's initial question, if you were going to set out to make a million dollars this year, how would you go about doing it? Well, the answer to that question, in as few words as I can put it, is not brick and mortar. <laughs> it's not brick and mortar. It is the digital economy, and it is the sharing economy, not here's a product and you can buy it. Here's something I know that I want to share with you. Here's something I've learned to do that I want to share with you. That's how you make, that's how you take one person with an idea who's willing to, who willing to reach out and ask other people for help and learn how to do something that a, as I, as we said, there are four-year-olds on, on YouTube making millions of dollars. Someone had to teach that four-year-old's mother or father how to present, how to open packages, how to play with toys, how to use a camera, how to use a microphone, how to use lighting. So someone taught them how to do that. Now it's still just the father, the, the, the mother, and the daughter that are generating this million dollars. And my challenge to you, whether you're a young parent or a young adult um, or a 77-year-old retired financial advisor, you can do it too. You just have to open your mind to the possibilities and to Bannon's question, if you were to set out to make a million dollars this year, how would you go about doing it? I've just shared with you, um, you have all the skills you need, particularly if you're up in your years, you've acquired the skills, you've acquired the knowledge. Now you just need to share it in the digital economy, not brick and mortar. Don't go opening a restaurant. You won't make a, re or, a, a or, or a clothing store. Uh, the supply chain is broken, but there is no supply chain here. Oh, and I, I forgot. Uh, there's also merchandise uh, that you can sell on your YouTube channel. Uh, there's all kind, and you don't need brick and mortar. It's just like I didn't realize this. These books, they're print on demand. I don't have an inventory. I have an inventory of this one. I don't have an inventory of these books. When you, when you order it, they print it. One copy, they print it, and they send it to you. How do you do this? You just sit down and write the book. And then you find someone to 
edited for you. My younger brother, uh, Jerry, edited this one. Um, I went on um, You Work and found a young man, and he edited this one. I found this cover. Uh, I bought it, I think, for something like $75. It's all possible. You've just got to open your mind up to the possibilities, okay? This is kind of a different video for me. I'm usually talking about investments. I'm also working on and just about to release a course in my other area of endeavor, and that is real estate. Real estate is a wonderful way to build wealth. I, I, I like to say, what is your largest asset? I don't care who you are. What is your largest asset? 90, probably 85% of you are going to say, my largest asset is my home, okay? Well, if if you own that home or if you're paying on that home and it's appreciating in value, it's like the home I'm sitting in. I paid uh, $325,000 for it in 1989 and I w just had it appraised and it's worth 800000 now and it's provided me a home and a place to raise my family and it appreci it's, it's, it's more than doubled in price. Well, why didn't I buy a second one back in 1989? Why didn't I buy my neighbor's house? And, and, and put maybe $35,000 down on it and then rent it out and let the renter play all the expenses over these last 35 years. And then I'd have two of them worth $800,000. Why didn't I do that? Well, I did it in not in that specific way, but I did it in other ways. And I'm going to share that knowledge in a real estate course that will be out within the next several weeks. So that's how you, to answer Benin's question, that's how you make a million dollars this year. Talk to you again tomorrow. This was a fun one.